Hi, I'm Seth with Land the House. Let's check out the Top Vork Random Orbital Polisher. My car has not been cleaned in quite some time, so I need to wash it real quick, but let's go ahead and open up this product and see what comes in the bag here. So it does come in a nice little bag. I'm just gonna unzip it here. And it's got a little uh, user's manual. It's got this foam pad and then a more dense foam pad. It's got a handle, another handle. We'll get into all this here a little bit closer. And then it's got the orbital polisher itself here. So this has got a Velcro on the bottom to easily attach to the discs here. So in this bag, we have got just a straight handle and have a few little tools. Got a wrench, have an Allen wrench, and it looks like a couple more of your brushes for the motor here. Let's open up these pads and take a look. So they do have Velcro on the bottom. Here's the other one. So we can consider the handles here. For the straight handle, you would just remove this screw here. And your straight handle would just screw directly into that hole, and it looks a lot like an angle grinder at this point. So you would just hold it like that and do your polishing. But if you wanna have the U-shaped handle, you would need to take out both of these on uh, each side. Go ahead and do that just uh, to see what it looks like. Okay, that took a second, but got it. Go ahead and put these screws back in here go ahead and try this foam just for the fun of it. Pop that right on the middle. Okay. Well, let's take a quicker look at the unit here. It is a 900 watt unit. It's got the on off button up here at the top with a locking switch. It's got just your regular power cord and then uh, the handles which are adjustable here. I've got this one kind of locked down in the middle, so hopefully it'll do well. The user manual for this polisher recommends that the car is clean before polishing. I haven't cleaned my car in years, so let's go ahead and give it a wash down real quick. Okay, now that the car is cleaner than it's been in years, I'm gonna use some of this turtle wax here and uh, we'll go through a couple settings to see how well this performs here. It has uh, settings one through six. This is on the lowest speed. Let's move up to the next speed and see what we get. This is up to two here. Moving up to the next speed here. So, has definitely buffed this in quite nicely and uh, has uh, way more effective than doing this by hand. The 
just to see what setting number six looks like. That's pretty extreme right there. Okay, just finished up putting the wax on there and buffing it out. Makes a huge difference. Stuff that would stay on my car hood before doesn't anymore, so the wax is certainly there and looking good. And uh, it's very much made a job that was gonna take a while uh, be much quicker. That definitely doesn't stay anymore. <laughs> uh, so yes, I'm impressed with it. I do have to admit that I am no professional when it comes to car cleaning um, but this pad I do believe will last for quite a long time did not come off the velcro whatsoever and uh, it performed great if you'd like to try out the top Vork random orbital polisher I will have a link to the Amazon page in the description down below thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video bye